Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called How Long by Charlie Puth. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you what you're going to learn in today's lesson. I'm going to teach you the super catchy chorus and post chorus section. It goes like this, give you a preview right now, check it out. So that's that, okay? So let's go ahead and split this lesson into many parts and learn it, okay? So check it out. The first part, right hand goes like this, okay? So right hand starts on the G sharp here, middle C's here, we go to the G sharp, okay? So it goes G sharp, B, and then two C sharps, and then another C sharp, two D sharps, and then an E, D sharp, C sharp, like that. That's the first part, okay? So let's do it again. The first part goes like this. Alright, so it goes G sharp, B, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, D sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, like that for the right hand, okay? So that's the right hand for the first part. Alright, left hand we have four chords here. The four chords are, okay, so the four chords C sharp minor, which is C sharp, E, G sharp. The second chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. The third chord is A major, which is A, C sharp, E. And the fourth chord is back to B major, which you know already, okay? So with these four chords in mind, so C sharp minor, B major, A major, and B major, the two hands together goes like this, okay? Right hand starts first, it goes da, da. Second C sharp and C sharp minor together. D sharp and B major together. E and A major together. After C sharp, B major by itself, just like that. So that's the first part. One more time for the first part, so it goes like this. Together. 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 Here. Just like that. Alright, so that is the first part. Moving on to the second part. The second part goes like this. Right hand, it goes down to G sharp, B, and three C sharps. Up to G sharp, F sharp, down an octave below to the lower G sharp, B, and three C sharps once again up to the higher G sharp, F sharp, like that. So it's pretty easy, the second part, because it's actually a um, seven note motive played twice, okay, for the right hand. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. So it goes G sharp, B, three C sharps, up to the higher G sharp, F sharp, repeat that motive again. G sharp, B, C sharp, C sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, like that for the right hand, okay? So that's the right hand for the second part. The left hand, we pretty much have nearly the same four chords as the first part, but the last chord is different. Instead of B major, again, it goes to G sharp major. But anyway, all right, so this uh, four chords for the second part, really similar to the first part, it's just C sharp minor, same, and then B major is the same as well, and then A major, which is the same, and then the fourth chord is G sharp major, which is different. So it's G sharp, C, and D sharp, okay? So with that in mind, so C sharp minor, B major, A major, and G sharp major, the two hands together for the second part goes like this, okay? Right hand starts with the G sharp, B, first C sharp and C sharp minor together. F sharp and B major together. C sharp and A major together. F sharp and G sharp major together. Just like that. Alright, so, yeah, let me see. Okay, yep, yeah, okay, one more time, so it goes like this. Together. Together. Together, together, just like that. All right, so yeah, that is the second part. Two parts that we just learned would be played back to back like this. Check it out. Okay, let me see. Okay. Just like that. Moving on to the third part. The third part goes like this. Uh, pretty much actually, yeah, this third part is nearly the same as the first part, but however the first bit is a little bit different. It goes E, D sharp, C sharp, B, and then back to the two C sharps, two D sharps, E, D sharp, C sharp. Alright, so it's just the first few notes that is different. Yeah, so um, in comparison to the first part, uh, we replaced the th first three notes with like 
uh, four notes, which is E, D sharp, C sharp, B, and the rest is the same. Two C sharps, two D sharps, E, D sharp, C sharp, like that for right hand, okay? Yeah, and then the left hand, the same four chords as the first part. It's just C sharp minor, B major, A major, and B major, okay? So with those four chords in mind that you know already, from, same as the first part, the two hands together goes like this. The right hand starts off with the first four notes, and then C sharp and C sharp minor together. D sharp and B major together. E and A major together. After C sharp, B major by itself, just like that. All right, one more time, so it goes like this. Together. Together, together, here, like that. All right, that's the third part. So back to back, the three parts we've learned will be played like this. Like that, okay? And then the fourth part is exactly the same as the second part. So we just save some time, okay? Everything's the same. Just like that, that's the fourth part, exactly the same as the second part, remember that, okay? So back to back, the four parts are good like this. Moving on to the fifth part, which is like the post chorus part, it goes like this right hand goes E, D sharp, C sharp, B, down to G sharp, up to C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, down to G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, G sharp, like that for the right hand, okay? So that's the right hand for this uh, fifth part, yeah, one more time, so it goes like this. So it goes E, D sharp, C sharp, B, down G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp. Down to G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, G sharp, like that for the right hand. Okay, so that's the right hand for this fifth part. Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are the same four chords as the uh, first part. So just C sharp minor, B major, A major, and B major, which you know already. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts with the first four notes, G sharp and C sharp minor together, D sharp and B major together. G sharp and A major together. And G sharp and B major together. Just like that. One more time. So it goes together, together, together. Whoops, let me try again. Okay. Together, 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 together. Like that. Okay, so that's the fifth part. Alright? So yeah, that is the fifth part. So back to back, the five parts we've learned so far would be play like this, okay? Okay, so moving on, uh, the last part goes like this, right hand goes G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, G sharp, B, E, A, and then G sharp, F sharp, that's the right hand for this last part. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this, G sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, D sharp, C sharp, G sharp, B, A. G sharp, F sharp, like that for the right hand, okay? That's the right hand. Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are C sharp minor. Uh, well, it's the same four chords as the second part, which is C sharp minor, B major, A major, and then the G sharp major, okay? Which you already know already. It's always the cycle of chords. Anyway, yeah, with that in mind, the two ends together goes like this. G sharp and C sharp minor together. D sharp and B major together. A and A major together. F sharp and G sharp major together. Just like that. Alright, one more time. So it goes together, 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 together. Just like that, okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so back to back, the whole thing goes like this. All the six sections that we learned goes like this. Like 
done. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoy learning this lesson uh, for this song by Charlie Puth. And as for now, go ahead and check out all my other piano covers and tutorials. I've done a lot of other Charlie Puth songs as well. So if you like this, and you'll like those as well probably. But anyway, as for now, I guess, yeah, enjoy your time on my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.